Alright guys, splits here, and I'm going to show you guys how to go from this to this right here. So I basically turned my PS4 into a PS5, and I can actually start playing any PS5 games that I want. And if you guys are wondering how this is done, this is all done by using the PS5 remote play. And to do this, you obviously need a PS5, so let me just say that first. And the reason why you would want to do something like this is because I have a PS5 in, like, in a different room. So instead of buying like two PS5s, I can just do this right here, and it just works fine. So I'm going to show you guys how I do it. Like I said, you can go back to the PS4 anytime you want, just by using this PS5 remote play app on your PS4. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. It's really easy, and let's get right into it. Alright, so I'm on my PS5, and just real quick, you just want to go to your settings, and then scroll down to you see system right here, and then you'll see a uh, remote play right here. So make sure you have it enabled, I already have it on, so I'm going to show you guys what to do next on the PS4. Alright, so you'll notice an app that looks something like this. This is called the PS5 remote play app, so this is where you want to go. Alright, so the PS4 is going to try to find my PS5, so I'm going to let it do its thing. So just press OK. And it's going to start finding it. And just like that, it instantly found it. So now I'm using Remote Play, and you can see I am on the PS4. I can actually use my controller, which is pretty cool. And this is what happens when I press the PS button. It pops up a menu. So if I go to Control Center, this is how I can access the Control Center, obviously. If I go back to the menu, I can go home, which I'm already at. And then Mute. You can completely disconnect it. Or I can go switch it back to the PS4, and this is what happens. And just like that, I'm on the PS4. If I want to go back, same thing, go to the PS5 remote play. And now, instantly, I can use my PS4 to play PS5 games. This is actually a pretty cool feature. And if you guys are wondering what's happening on my PS5, I'll actually show you real quick. Alright, so here's what my PS5 looks like with the remote play. Yeah, I can see, here's my PS4 controller. And it's this is how it looks like. And I can't use my PS5 controller while using this because obviously it's disconnected. Alright, so I'm on the PS5 version of Fortnite and even though this is using remote play, I don't really notice any lag with my controller or like the quality of what I'm seeing. So I'm going to start playing PS5 games on my PS4. So yeah, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. This helped you out. And yeah.